five days to hit weight. So this week of training has been strangely intense. But not like in a uh, lifting heavy weights, trying to get ready for the meet, more so of like a high reps, conditioning, cardio before and after. And uh, I am about, let's say, two pounds down with about five more to go. So uh, let's go ahead and head to the gym, show you guys my full day of routine today. And uh, get ready to blow up the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. About to blow up the weekend. I'm done saying weekend. This is about to end. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Babe, up wearing my stuff already. Look at this. You see you, this? You gave him something. I don't say gave. I said I probably you probably wear these. That's mm -hmm. all I said. I look cute. You like a boot in them. <laughs> Anyways, first off, I know, I know. As soon as the camera turns around, you're like, damn. I shaved. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I shaved. <Wow. laughs> damn. I shaved. I had to shave, man. Just certain reasons. Um, anyways, about to head to the gym. We're going over the Alpha Elite next drop, May 18th. So go ahead and grab you everything I got on. Boom. The black, the gray. We got brown. We got this mustard color. Literally, like mustard color. Um, these are like the LDB shirts. What are these called again? Damn, can't find the damn tags. But we got this in mustard, black white i have the gray on joggers so there's a difference between the joggers there's the relaxed and then there's the fitted the fitted comes with like the baseball sock bottoms right here so i like the baseball sock bottoms you know i got like one relaxed which is what she just had on um and then we got the meshed shorts this is fire i love this color right here it's like a tannish with the burgundy at the edge then we got the line the light the light green with a dark green and a, a emerald, like the green, straight green, evergreen, I think, with a seashell um, logo. And then we have the same thing for black. So let's go ahead to the gym. She's just going downstairs, you know, where I'm going to be, where I'm going to see, where I'm going to leave to. So, yeah. So this is the outfit I chose for today. It's super bright. Uh, turn the ice on that. Do I do it on the side here? Right there, on a wheel. This one? No, 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 nigga. This, right? Then go ahead. I got it. There we go. So this is my outfit for today. I'm super excited. Um, first day of school. <laughs> you ain't even going. <laughs> All right, about to go ahead and take some pre, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all just missed the breaking grass. Look, palm. I gotta get used to saying this. It's called palm. Pre workout of the month. I don't know how the fuck. They do this every month, but every month there is a new pre-workout. And it's like, you know, it's a cool, like, creative way of collabing, but yet not getting sued. So, yeah. One, two, bust. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, wow, doom, 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 doom. Oh, wacko, juvenile, skip. What you mean? Oh, but I just heard you talking, and the next thing I know, you over there. Right? I was in the noise clap. Oh. I was, I, was, I was going off, and you just messed it up. Oh, oh, okay, look, look. I, I'm trying to, I need to let everybody know real quick before we get to this gym. I came up with the universal motion for, I need a spot. So you do right here. Clink, right? Same thing with the other hand. Put it together. This is it right here. Uh, uh, hey, hey, bro. Can you spot me? Uh, uh. Once you start doing this, they'll, they'll know what it is. What's good, everybody? We are going to go through my ab routine. Now, this was done on Tuesday, this week of my meet. My meet is on Sunday. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, what I like to do to start out my ab routines is my cable oblique twists or rotations. Um, we'll have these at different settings. We'll have this at the middle, which what you see right now. We'll do this for about three sets of 10 reps. And then we'll go up to a high set and then a low set. Once again, 
three sets, 10 reps for everything. Um, I think it's very important to add a lot of rotational stuff because it's gonna protect your core. This is a core exercise, but this is more of those obliques. This is gonna protect, this is the core of the core, you know, that's needed to stabilize yourself when it comes to the squat, the deadlift, the bench, um, something for athletes to do as well. Um, I love doing these, it's something that you don't see in the gym. And I use the ball to have more of a natural movement so the cable can fall along the ball in a curve and it makes it a lot easier versus just kind of doing the wood jump. And now you've seen this before. This is the Bruce Lee Dragon Flags. Um, I kind of like to do a little leg raise, bring my hips up and then fall down. Um, very difficult movement. It's super strenuous on the abs, on your hips, um, and even the quads. Um, so for this, I would do four sets of six reps. This is more of that strengthening exercise, but to be able to do these is super beneficial, especially at a heavier weight, such as myself, you know, someone in the 240s, between 240 and 250. So, you know, no matter what weight you do, I, no matter what weight you are, excuse me, um, I definitely suggest you add these into your routine. Next up, I like using this machine. It's the hyperextension machine or the GHR machine um, for my abs because I can kind of get a little bit of an extended um, stretch in my lower abs and my hips. Um, something you do in control, not like those <coughs> crossfitters. Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, maybe not but um i'll do these for about 12 to 15 reps for four sets um something nice and simple to do it's a uh, somewhat of a break period in my ab routine uh, then we'll move on to more of a strongman movement the suitcase carries a heavy dumbbell on one side i'll do three sets each arm 20 yards or you know try to you know guess 20 yards of my walk and try to stay in a straight line at the same time and then we'll move over to three sets once again 20 yards overhead so now we're working our obliques and things our abs and um, shoulder stability as well so it's just kind of everything to lock in and then to finish off we did 30 minutes of cardio double steak brown rice cheese corn salsa and black beans so how i'll start my day is I'll start my day with one of these. I literally probably only like uh, just two times. Start my day with one of these, and then I eat a steak and a salad later. And I'll have I had a protein shake during my workout. This another protein shake, and then my last meal, which is steak and a salad. So that is my oh 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 whoa. If you feel me, now we're about to stream Apex because the new season just dropped. New character just dropped. Let's go. Oh, just got through streaming. Bro, I streamed for like five hours today. The new Apex, like I said, just dropped. Now cooking uh, my nine, last meal of the day. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do this, watch the TV. Faye's been over here reading. And as you can see, you've probably seen this before. We have our salad, base plate, mine. Got the steak cooking right here, and this will be kind of my routine for the entire week. Now, we will have some chicken meatballs. What, what else from Trader Joe's? Huh? Chicken. Oh, some brown rice. And then brown rice. And and That's from Costco? Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah. These chicken and meatball thingies from Costco. Super good. Usually. I can easily get in like a good amount of protein with those in. So that's like one meal that's missing. Um, but I've kind of just somewhat substituted with just like a protein shake. But um, yeah, that's going to be my meals for the day. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, um, I don't know what else to tell you guys right now. So yeah.
right, welcome back to me talking, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Corrupt Strength. I felt like it was necessary to come here and get into that powerlifting mindset. Um, as I'm actually doing this talking, my meet is tomorrow, <laughs> and this video will be out the day of my meet. But what you're gonna see today is me basically working up to my first attempts for the meet. Um, and I just kind of want to get a grasp of what intensity I need to bring. And let me tell you something, doing all this by myself, like setting up the weights, being in this hot ass gym, I feel like I should be more than prepared for meet day because I was winded putting up weights and exchanging racks and you know, things like that. Like when, this is 6.05 right now. This is uh yeah, 6.05, nice depth. Um, and I was winded, bro. I tell you, and I didn't even have the right knee sleeves. These are not the knee sleeves that I'll be using for competition. The knee sleeves for competition uh, from Village Hidden and the Iron are way stronger than those. Um, those are just kind of like knee sleeves I would use for like a leg day, but not like a crazy PR type of leg day, you know, just like a comfortable leg day. Um, but now we're on bench, as you see, I just really need to focus on over exaggerating my pauses for the bench. Um, yo, cause I plan on hitting this 500. I really want this 500 in meat. So I, like I said, you'll see right now, this is 485. I plan on starting with this. I'll tell you right now, I've moved four or five, let I me mean 485 a lot better than that. So I'm not fully sure if I wanna start with that. I might start at like 430 just to blast through an easy rep um, and then go 485 next and then like a 505 or something for my third attempt. Um, but one thing I wanna to touch is my deadlift. So apparently I have um, an issue with soft knees sometimes where I think I'm locked out and I'm not fully locked out. Look at those calves and I'm not fully locked out, so I really want to exaggerate um, this 705 that you see right here uh, as my first attempt for Sunday and uh, just really kill it. Um, but I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well. Stay tuned for the next video, which will probably be my powerlifting meet. And uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.